Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from EGAT Tech. So right now I've got the three iPhones here. I've got the iPhone 11, the 11 Pro, and the 11 Pro Max. I'm going to be running a quick Antutu benchmark. So this is version 8.0.4. So the iOS version finally got updated to version 8. So it's been on version 7 for quite a while. So it just came out. I'm going to be running a test so you know which iPhone has the best score. So let's get started guys.
scores are done. Bit of a surprise here, guys. The iPhone 11 Pro has, has the highest score at 542,000, followed by 11 Pro Max at 536, and iPhone 11 is um, the the last place at 523,000. So not much of a difference. So if you can see, probably might have to do with temperatures in the room, but yeah. Um, these scores vary so if I run it another time we probably have the 11 Pro Max with a higher score but this is what, what I'm getting um, from my first run so if we go to the ranking let's, let's look on the 11 Pro Max Not sure if you can see it but the 11 Pro Max historically actually does better than the 11 Pro uh, usually scores around 549,000 so almost 550 followed by 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 so um, like I mentioned the scores aren't static it, it changes from uh, each run so if I run it, run it again I might get a better score on the 11 Pro Max so it, there's a lot of factors to be considered one of them mainly the temperature but uh, this is what i got from my um antutu benchmark version 8. okay let's go back here so it did breach the 500,000 mark um that none of the other android phones actually did that except for the red magic 3s and the rog2 phone but of course um this is ios compared to android so it shouldn't be uh, directly com compared with uh, the Android version of Antutu since they're on different OS so it's basically you're comparing apples to oranges. This is a good example of how powerful the new iPhones have gotten so the Android ecosystem is playing catch up but then the, from what I've heard the Snapdragon 865 is claiming to uh, actually beat the A13 Bionic chip on the, the newest iPhone 11s. But of course, that, that's going to be coming out next year. So once the, we have that batch of uh, Snapdragon 865 enabled phones, then I'll do another benchmark test and see. But to be honest, guys, these benchmarks are just a bunch of numbers. If you're using each phone, so for example, I've got the five, I've got iPhone 11 with 542,000 and the iPhone 11 at 523. If I use them side by side, then you're not going to notice much of a difference. So it's, it's very, um, not very evident from day to day, day to day use. It's just a bunch of numbers. It's not completely indicative of the phone's uh, performance. But of course, bigger numbers are better. So if you're a tech geek, then uh, you'll know that you want the phone with the highest scores. All right, so I guess we'll end things here, guys. Just a quick video for you. So as usual, like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon notification. And see you all in my next one.